Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina and I'm glad you're joining me today. Well, today I am working on another challenge from a cherry on top that is for the International Scrapbooking Weekend. Uh, it's Monday, but it's still, we have until the 15th to do the challenges. Um, I'm sorry, my um, videos are going to be a little bit later. I'm trying really hard to get these up, but I'm having computer problems, so... Um, uh, it's, it's been really hard on me. I've been trying to like get things loaded up on their um, site with my phone, my tablet, uh, my husband's computer, which wasn't working very well to get them up there. Um, I've had lots of problems, but anyway, I'm moving on with doing my um, challenges. I've done several that I didn't record because I couldn't get um, my camera emptied. I did finally get it emptied, so um, I'm going to do this one. This one is to, um, let me see, uh, the focus of this challenge is to create art with a foundation of a postcard or an envelope as a substrate. Using any mixed media compo component, stamping, or collage style of embellishments. So, yeah, <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> So I gotta do this one, of course. So I'm gonna start with this, and I think instead of turning it sideways, so I'm gonna have um, something coming out here. I'm gonna decorate this. I'm gonna start with just plain papers, and then I'm going to um, stencil over it. And then I'm also gonna do uh, my my modeling paste over that. And then I don't know. Um, I'll go for a while until my supper timer goes off, and then I'll have to come back and do some more. Uh, I just dropped my ruler. Okay, I move everything. I do that with this mat. I lean on it wrong and I move. So I've just got some plain papers here that are, um, you know, just copy papers or plain papers, and I thought. I would um, just start with putting those on somehow. And I don't want it to be perfect. So, oh, I don't have my ink, my ink out. It definitely needs to be inked, in my opinion, if it's going to show any definition. finish this, I will make sure I have this glue filled up. It's only about a quarter inch from the top, but... I don't have a lot of strength, so... I have a new rheumatologist. I really liked him. Oh, I really liked him. But, um... He let me keep my medicine. I really like. But when I went to see him, he like squeeze my hands. Come on, squeeze my hands. I'm like, I am squeezing your hands. <laughs> He's like, I thought you'd squeeze a little bit harder than that. I said, oh, I'm squeezing. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting shape I just did, isn't it? How about we just do that? Put it right there. 
know, maybe if I'm gonna find something to go under it. I have this really interesting paper. This is this is old and interesting. I love this paper. I found a second book. I said I found one more book of these. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I found another one. Yay. I probably shouldn't be tearing this one up, but I've already been tearing it up before I figured out I shouldn't be, so it doesn't matter. Getting it down to where I want to tear on it. I save all these little bits. <laughs> they're, they're, it's just buttery. It's really nice. Okay, so... in there. Let me, let me eat these both up. Get some of the copy paper in there, I think. Since these are both um, this copy paper in there and the copy paper I'm using is stuff that I printed by scrimping on me The other piece is over it. But that's going to cover that, right? Yeah. So I'm going to turn this over. Cut this right here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. And I did not put the lid on my glue or turn it on its side, so there we go. I really need to do some tea, tea dye on paper, but I tell you what, it's just easy to, to hit print. It's just so easy. I lost my piece for down here. I don't think it was that one, was it? Was it that one? No, because I had it inked up. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I never use all my prints, so, you know, might as well. Sorry, but I have that too low. I'm sorry. I like to have the layered look, so that's why I'm going over 
but it was easier to me to just put it instead of trying to get it here there and everywhere underneath these I it was easier just to cover the whole spot and then layer these up okay now I need something right there and I don't know that look. I, don't know. Um, I have this lace. Yes, that would look really good there. I'm going to put that there. I think it's. I also have. You know, I haven't used any. Well, I wasn't going to put that on the top. I wasn't going to put this on the bottom layer. Um, some of this might work. This here on this part. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I have craft paper. Craft paper will work real good. You can tell what I need to. Two inches of it. can over here where I could reach it. Look at my little, it's full, you guys. I've been busy all day, so it's full. I like to empty it so you guys don't think I'm a slob, but, you know, I use it. <laughs> my friend made me that, and I have loved it. Oh, I didn't, I forgot which one I need. I took my finger off of it. to our our um, scrapbook Christmas party and gave each other this one and I just love it. If I move it though it's where I'm boy my desk is getting a hot mess here. crazy over how that is so I'm going to end up um, covering that. With something. We're going to find something to cover that up there. I'm not liking it. Okay, I have some of this paper here. Paper. It was a uh, loose leaf paper that was it was older paper, and so what I did is I just kept it on my table for a while, and every day I would just spray a piece, and then I would flip it over and spray another piece until I got through it all, and I've about used it all up.
supper's starting to smell really good. I don't know how long it's got, but it's smelling really good. It's lasagna. And don't think I've been really great at stuffers. <laughs> My husband asked for a frozen lasagna for tomorrow because I'm going to be gone up at the art center doing stuff. We're having a card class tomorrow. And I, you know, those little bitty things, the little bitty one was like, I don't know, it was six bucks. And I could get the big one for 13 like twelve ninety nine, and I thought, well, why don't I just get the big one? And then there'll be leftovers, and when I come home from my card class, I can have it too. We never buy that. Never. I mean, I couldn't even tell you if I have ever bought it. I don't know that I've ever bought it. I really don't think I have ever bought it because I don't really buy that kind of stuff ever. <laughs> I mean, I may have bought the little one, like for work, but the big one, no, I don't think so. So we'll see, but I don't know. I don't know if I ever, sometimes I would buy those little things for lunch, but I was really into just making my own stuff or eating at work. I mean, they're in the cafeteria at work, so I ate there a lot. Okay, so I've got this dictionary page, but look how cool the edge is. I have a dictionary now, but I'm doing the same thing that I did with this. I just um, cover it. I just um, spray a page every day. But I, don't, I haven't had it out for a while because we've had company here, there, and everywhere. And the next three weeks that we have company, so I have to take, put it up. Um, I think if I just tear... Tearing good enough. Uh, I'm not giving it enough room. Okay. So is that enough room? Yeah, that's enough room. Can I scoot it down some? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cut it right, right there. Put it right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> it stopped right where it's gonna go because <laughs> I could, it kept wiggling on me. These dictionary pages, I keep all the edges because my goodness are they pretty. The way they stained, they're just pretty. Oh, oh, I gotta take this phone call. Okay, it's the next day. I'm back. Didn't get back last night. It was just getting too late. I went to bed. Had to be up this morning for a cart class in town, so I just went to bed. So I don't like how that looks. I'm not happy with it. So I have to, I tried putting a piece here and I'm still not happy. I tried tearing another piece and uh, that's, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I'm not happy with it. So I have these uh, linens that I had scanned. And so I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put it about right there. So I need to mark it. I think these look really pretty. I think I want it more center, more like that. So I need to cut it. I need some lead. I always say lead. <laughs> Instead of lead, I say lead. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'm gonna cut it about right. I don't want it to be right. I don't want it to be right on that where 
these two meet. So I'm, I'm going to kind of pick it over just a little bit. Right there, I think. My trimmer out. I was about to start a few minutes ago and I realized oh, i got to unpack my bag because I had everything in my bag and I didn't have most of my supplies, like my scissors, my trimmer. <laughs> so I had to get everything unpacked. <laughs> So these linens, they look really good when you scan them and um, put them on your projects. I think they look really pretty. I've got this one set aside in case I want to cut out some of the flowers. I think that this is one of my favorite ones. I haven't, I haven't cut into it yet. It's got a real pretty trim around the edge, but I still I have not been able to get myself to cut into it. Oh no, look like this somehow that's right. No, it's not on the edge, is it? Well, it's on this edge, but... Well, we're using it because I cut into it. <laughs> Get my ink here. We had fun at card class today. Oh, I should cut that, shouldn't I? Yeah, that doesn't have to go all the way to the edge. Yes, it does. I don't like it, but all the way to the edge. I wish I had cut it a little bit bigger. Oh, I need to spark where I need to cut it. Maybe I will cut it a little this way a little bit. There, that's better. Okay. I need to cut right there. So I don't think I need my deviled edge. I forgot to fill this. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, we're just going to use it. I'm telling you, I think this bottle worked better when I first bought it. It, it doesn't act right to me. See when I squeeze it, it just, I don't know. Let's put that out. Need a blob to begin with. much better. Much, much better. Okay. I think I'm through um, layering on top of it. So now I have a stencil here. This I got from um, Tina. There. These are the cards we made today. They're, you know, they stand up. There's one of them. Pretty cute. And then here's the other one. I think they're so cute. I know, this, this one's going out this week. I know. I made that special. I put the, that, it didn't say, thank you for being my friend. I had another one 
This one didn't say thanks a bunch either. I did those on purpose. I know where they're going. So, I think that um, I will do some stenciling. I don't want the typewriter on there. I just want some of this other numbers and stuff like that. So I guess I just use, I don't really stencil very often, so I guess I can just use my brush. And I don't want it, like, yeah, that's okay. I don't want it to be real dark. I just want some, I didn't want, now this side, oh, on this side over here, I'm going to do it darker. But it's so skinny, it's just getting the first letters, and I thought that might look kind of cool. Just having the first letters down. Maybe I ought to zoom in. There we go, I just gotta make sure I stay where you can see. Not move down. I guess I was going to do some of the modeling paste, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, i got to have something on there. Um, I thought I would put some tea bag on there, maybe I should put that next and then put some modeling paste on here. I don't think a tea bag would go over the modeling paste, I probably should have put the tea bag. I'm just adding stuff. I am really, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I have stamps that I definitely need to get on here that say, you know, like postage and all that. And I want to get a real stamp on here. I think I will put that on there like that. So I need to cut. I need to cut right there. So there's another spot of it, but not a big, huge spot. I don't want a big spot of it. You know, I don't want it up there because that's where I'm going to want to be stamping my like, stuff. So I'll put it right there. Okay. So I'm going to want 
put a stamp and cancellation marks and all that there. Okay. So now, um, uh, let me get another stencil. I think we'll do a few roses. And then I'll have to pause and get that clean, I guess. While I dry it. I don't want very many on here. I just want a few. A few like right down here. Maybe just one pretty one there. Oh dear, this is drying up. I haven't even had this that long. It makes me mad. I hope it'll work. with this one too. We shall see, huh? Well, where you can see barely. Barely. Show some kind of beeper. Nah, nah, nah. Beep, beep, nah, nah, nah. I can't, you know, can't see you. I'm trying to get the leaves. One more swipe, make sure it's even. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. side for me. I gotta have three. I mean, it's gotta be three. So I'll do one right there. Well, I didn't mean to go all the way up. But I did, I guess. Oh, well, that's all of it. It's all connected there, I guess. Okay. So, there's how I have it right now. I'm going to pause, clean everything up, get it dry, and then I'll be back. Let's just step, put my finger in it. <laughs> Be back. Okay, I'm back. I got everything dry and I'm ready to do some stamping on the front. I picked out the perfect rubber or not rubber postage stamp. You'll see why in a minute. So I think I will go ahead and glue it 
I was at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I think it was week before last. I put it. It's in one of my hauls. But you know the green bags of stamps that they have. Well, I actually was going to buy me one so I could have some more stamps because that's the only way I find stamps around here. I can never find any old letters or any stamps. I have never found any of those here. Not one. Um, oops, I don't want to know right now. Uh, so, I had that in my bag, or in my buggy, in my cart, and I got back to the clearance, and I found one of those on clearance, and honest to goodness, it looked like almost all of it was there, but it had been split down the side, and they had it all wrapped up, and I was like, mm-hmm. I'll buy me that, and it was marked to something. It was basically $3. It was, it was real close to $3. Like, ooh, I'm buying it. <laughs> I was thrilled. And I showed it in what? In probably my last haul. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put Amsterdam on this. Okay. Or maybe no. I'm going to put the one that says Atlanta to Georgia. That says Australia, <laughs> but it's like to Georgia. Maybe I'll put a couple. Like it's been a few places. That sounds like a good idea. Oops, my other towel works better for wiping these off. They're really clean. And yeah, I'll do one. I have no idea where this is. We'll do this one. I think this is the fun part. We get to start doing all this stuff. Okay. And then we need to cancel it, don't we? After I get done with all of it, I'm going to spray a blue on these roses, but I don't want to do all that till the end. Because then I got to dry it. Blah, blah, blah. Is that, is that good enough? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, it was probably canceled twice, wasn't it? Okay, now let's see. Airmail on there. I thought I might need to stamp in red, huh? Stamp that in red. I'll stamp that right. Right there. Airmail. Why did that? Okay. And yeah, let's see. I'm just gonna find I have a number here. Number in red. 
think that might be about all for the outside, at least for now. Well, no, 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 no. I lied, I lied, I lied. I'm going to take this one. I think that's the best one I have. Well, maybe just this one right here. And put, um, what did I just do with my, what did I do with my, Oh, I just had a, there it is. <laughs> it's like I had a stamp block. I know I did. I'm going to do this one in blue. I like blue ink. And I'm going to put it right here like it's the address, you know. Where this is going to go. That's, that's, you know, back in the day this is going to be a back in the day. And back in the day, that might be about what they wrote. <laughs> Have you seen some of those things? <laughs> They'd write the name and the city. <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> okay, so now I have... Um, okay. And it's an encyclopedia page. And I have this family that I cut out of it. And then we're going to make this to go inside of it. And I'm going to have them be right here. But I got this for, you know, the harvest. So we're going to, I sprayed this and I hope it's dry. I wanted to put this paper on it, but I cannot, I don't have a big enough paper, you know, it would have to be this way, and I didn't really like that, but this, I don't mind putting it this way, like it's, you know, so we're just, I'm going to put this on here. You guys, I was so blessed today at the Art Center. Um, owner of the art center. She's so sweet. She's a nice lover. Anyway, she uh, got out her gun like this, and she has the yellow one, I think 700. And she asked, can we load it? I said, oh yeah, because she didn't know how. It, yeah, we, we can get that and show you how. Well, she got out the ones for the pink. Well, they wouldn't fit. You know, because the, the thing is too big. And, um, she sent, she sent the, all of her little ones for the pink home with me. That was like about eight of them. That's such a blessing for me. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, you got so many of those, you ought to buy a pink one. No, I got the yellow ones. <laughs> Oh, wow. Next time I'm at Hobby Lobby, the paper's on sale. I'm going to buy a bunch of paper for her, for her studio. Because the kids go through a lot of paper. She has classes for kids every day. They get to come from school and work there and do art classes, which is awesome for the school kids because they don't have art at school anymore. Okay, so we're going to put that around it.
I don't know why. They just need it rounded to me. <laughs> the bottom here, the blue is not blue hanging over. I've got lots of extra blue that I'm trying to get rubbed off from the ATG. I think I've got some here too. down in here. And I need to decide how I'm going to figure out where these people go. Because I haven't done this before like this. It was just a bright idea I had. <laughs> they need to go about right there, don't they? Them. Didn't move them very much. I think they're okay. Just saw them and then make sure they're straight. I think they are. I just stuck my head under the camera. I think it would be good. Well, I'll do that off camera. I think it would be good to take my pencil, like my watercolor pencil. I'll use my ink tints and go around them and blend it in, but I'll do that off camera. When I get ready to go off camera, I'll start it and show you what I'm doing and then I'll finish it because you don't want to sit there the whole time I do that. I'll show you what I mean and then, in case you've never done it. Okay, so now I know that I am going to take this one. This is also a set that I got off of, um, uh, what you call it? that. <laughs> you do. Which, speaking of that, I should have a $5 credit here today because I don't have an order today that came in. Which means I'm up to $10 now. <laughs> but it looks like it'll be here in the next day or two. That happened last time. I got a $5 credit and my order came the next day. I was like, all right, I can handle this. <laughs> oh, I forgot something I wanted to put on the outside of my... Outside of my envelope. Earl of Margate. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but I thought it looked just kind of like writing a letter. A whole bunch of stamps up here. Stamp this 
some glue. Stamp very well, but that's okay. It's still okay. Okay, anything else? That one. that's all we're going to put on there. It looks kind of um, bland to me, but I just don't know what else. Kind of, I don't know. I could put some of this down here. That might be pretty. Put a little bit of that right there. Yeah, I think that would be pretty. Put it from there to there. Cut it right at the frame. And then we watch me try to get it undone. <laughs> I wish I knew the secret of this stuff because. I used to watch everybody try to get these clear things and then and I thought, oh come on, quit messing around. <laughs> and now I think, um, holy cow. Oh, the spit over. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, it's just going to stay that way because I can't get it. That looks pretty. I like that. There's a little spot in it. Oh, you know what this is? This is the beginning of it where there was glue on it. Shouldn't have used this. Well, I got it off there. So that's good, right? I could put then a little bit more right here. I could put that right there. I cut too much. Oh, I did. It needs to go right on the frame. Okay. Now, see if I can get this done. That looks good. That gives it some color. There's still more glue. I'm going to be working on that for a little while. I really love that washi. I need to order more of that. It's from Timu. I guess this is a Timu thing. Okay, so on here, I want to put this across here to right there. there. Oops, let's get that out of the way. So, some. I think I'm going to put some glue down. The cow. I don't know what is wrong with my glue. And I need to 
to spread some of it out because it's way too thick. I'm not putting glue on right now. I'm just spreading out what is there with my tip of my glue. Okay. Getting it pretty thin there so it's not going to... Now I'm trying to decide the... This is the right side. Oh, got too much right there. Get that wiped off. There we go. Now I want a whale tail. Let me get a whale. Oh, I forgot about this too. I was going to try to put this on here. This is like a clay thing or something. I don't know what it's made of. I was set this many years ago. At the time that I got it, I had no idea what you would do with it. I thought, what is this? And now I think it's beautiful. I got it out and I thought this would look pretty for today, but... I'm not sure how to, I guess I could poke a brad through it. I think that would be pretty, like right there. I don't think that's the brad I want. I just want a plain old brad. That one would work. Or that one. That one would work real good, I think. It's a little big. Oh, it's pink. It's got real long. It's really long. And I thought, oh, that'll work, but it's pink. There's... Oh, it's too big. It won't go through it. It's got a pearl. That doesn't look too terribly bad. too big I can tell. I'm not gonna go through the thing. These are all shapes. They aren't gonna work. Okay, let's use that one. Now let me poke a hole. Hole poker, where are you? Oh for goodness sakes, where'd you go? I need a drink, I'm sorry. It's right, I know it's right in front of my face. It's in here, and I just can't see it. Unless it's over there. I'm going to get the whole poker out of my go bag. It's a Dollar Tree one, but it'll poke a hole. Okay, so I want it to be right about right there. Oh, where my good hole cooker went? And I got two of those, so there's one of those in there, too. some blue tape over it. Alright. Now, 
let's get us a whale tail. As soon as I find my whale tail punch. My goodness. I've got a scrap of that paper. Okay. This paper. Okay. So let's um onto this corner here. I'm going to use this because every time I try to use dry adhesive, once I get the thing cut out, it doesn't, um, it's not stuck all the way because I didn't cover everything with my I'm making all these things for this um, crop, for, yeah, for the crop, the nesty crop. I'm gonna make some money envelopes for our. We're gonna do the cash, the envelope system for our budget. Have any of you done that? Made your own envelopes? If so, do you have a video that you consider very good? I'm going to use. I'm going to empty this I'm going to use this and so I want it I want them to go into here and I want them to have you know like a space here and then the envelope here I don't want the envelope I don't want the money to be down in here if that makes sense I want it to have a I want it to have like a gutter here or whatever you call that and then the envelope start but I'm going to empty this and use this so if any of you do do that and you made your own envelope, can you if you know of a good video, a direction video, would you lead me to it? That's my next project. We got the whole thing figured out. I just don't have the envelopes. <laughs> I should have them by now and I don't. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's going to hold down here. So I want something pretty there. There. That's perfect. I was trying to aim it where I had something pretty on that side because that's the side that I'll when you fold it, that's the side that's going to show. Okay, so now let's speed this up. And I'm going to put it in here, kind of decide where we might want this. 
Oh, I should put something in there. Do that. Put this in here. It does not need to cover the whole part. It needs to cover the window. I could break this, but Tell you the truth, I don't know whose it was. Well, I am going to print it, and that's what it's going to look like so when you pull it out. I will find it and print it. I'll pause, and when I come back, I'll have it printed for you guys to see. Okay, so here we go. in there. Well, I don't want it there because it comes down to the window. So, right there. There. I like right there. That's where it's going to go. Oops. Okay. get off this. It's sticky. It's sticking to my arm. That's probably why I couldn't get it out of there because it's still sticky. I hope I can get that all off there. Yeah, it's coming off. <laughs> I should not have used this piece at all. Oh my. Okay. I'm going to leave that out of there. Okay. Let me get my ink tints and I will show you. are not watercolors but when you when you write with them or draw with them you have you can wet them and they will act like a watercolor until they dry once they dry they are dry they you cannot um, use them as a watercolor again what's good about that is that you can layer and they won't mix it after that they won't mix so that's a good thing about them um, you can't, um, they won't reactivate, but it's fun because they act like a watercolor the first time, and I need to sharpen this, so I'm going to get a pencil sharpener. I'm it in my bag. I like it pretty sharp when I do this. Okay. 
right now it looks like oh what are you doing but it'll it'll be okay so I'll be back all right I've got this done and um, I did add a few things uh, while I was working on it um, I added another red stamp right up here because there was only two and it bothered me so I just added one more red stamp uh, these two are from the field notes Tim Holtz field notes um, and then I did put the blue on the roses and I just sprayed that on and then I took my little paintbrush and spread it around so that's what I did to the front and I also die cut some of uh, the, the flower paper. I have a die cut that does this and I put them in. I'll show you. Maybe you can see it better. No, you really can't. But I put them in here like this. And I did that because I got to messing around with this. And I thought this needs more. So I got out a catalog, one of my um, Sears, I guess, yeah, Sears catalog, yeah, Sears, and I put out a horse and buggy, and then I had a, a paper set in here to collage with that was um, language that is in English, and I put that on there, and I was just having fun, and then when I put the family in here, when I put this in here, guess what showed the horse and buggy and it was very distracting so I came up with the idea well I wanted to put it all the way around but it would have worked down here but it wasn't going to work on top so I decided just to do the side the two sides and that covered up see you can see the horse and buggy was going to show and that is very distracting which I don't know what I just did now it shows See, if I move that over, you can really see. And it's very distracting like that. So, um, i that's what I did. Um, so now, I also put a butterfly. And then I have these. These are matchbook covers. I found them in an antique store. I got a whole bunch. I have two full drawers of them. And I paid $2 for them. You know, these little drawers. And I've used a bunch of them and given a bunch of them away and I still have two I have this drawer and the other drawer is jammed full. So I put that on there. I thought it was pretty and I don't know, just trying to fill it in a little bit. Collage on it, fill it in a little bit. So and the um the challenge was just to do an envelope, but I wanted to fill the envelope with something, so you know, I wanted to make my little thing finished. So, I was thinking maybe I could fit, send it a happy meal, but happy mail, not meal. I always say meal, but boy, I don't have to have a big envelope to send that out in. But these are really cool. There's like fish and, oh, there's a hummingbird. I don't remember seeing the hummingbird, but you've got birds and birds and birds and birds. I'm supposed to, there's fish and there's um, butterflies and flowers so they're really cool they're just a different kind of thing to add sometimes I don't pull them out all the time because I kind of forget about them but they're neat just something different something that looks old and sometimes I cut them to where you know it's just the picture and this one I didn't this one I didn't cut the top off of them. Some of them have to cut. Sometimes I, because that's like that's the matchbook part. You know, it would have been like folded there, and this came down and folded into the matchbook. The matchbook would have came down around, but sometimes I cut that off, and sometimes I staple it like I did there. I like how that looks. But anyway. The lady in the antique store asked me what they were. She goes, what are those? I said, I think they're matchbook covers. And she goes, oh, yeah, that's what they are. <laughs> she said, I just couldn't figure it out. 
She said, I knew they were old, so I saved them. Somebody would want them. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little long. I'll show you this up a little bit closer. See how the outlining them just made it stand out more. There's that matchbook cover. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.